ഹലോ എവരി വൺ വെൽക്കം ടു ദി പവർ ക്വാളിറ്റി ലെക്ചർ സീരീസ് ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ഡിസ്കസ് അബൌട്ട് വൺ ഓഫ് ദ റീസൺ ഓഫ് വോൾട്ടേജ് ഓർ വെയ് ഫോം ഡിസ്റ്റോർഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് നോച്ചിങ് വോൾട്ടേജ് നോച്ചിങ് ഇസ് ഡിസ്ക്രൈബ് ബൈ ഐ ട്രിപ്ലി ആസ് എ റെക്കറിംഗ് പവർ ക്വാളിറ്റി ഡിസ്റ്റർബൻസ് ഡ്യൂ ടു ദി നോർമൽ ഓപ്പറേഷൻ ഓഫ് പവർ ഇലക്ട്രോണിക് ഡിവൈസസ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ലൈക്ക് എക്സാമ്പിൾ റെക്ടിഫയർ വെൻ കറണ്ട് ഈസ് കമ്മ്യൂട്ടേറ്റഡ് ഫ്രം വൺ ഫേസ് ടു അനദർ ദർ വിൽ ബി എ വോൾട്ടേജ് നോച്ചിങ് സോ ദ നോച്ചിങ് ഈസ് ഈസ് എ റിസൾട്ട് ഓഫ് നോർമൽ ഓപ്പറേഷൻ ഓഫ് some of the devices connected to the power system and in addition a voltage notching characterizes an unusual case that uh, falls between harmonics and transients you cannot uh, categorize uh, notching as uh, a harmonic event or uh, transients this is something that uh, lies between harmonics and uh, transients Uh, this is because of uh, uh, notching takes place in the steady state condition that is uh, it's uh, not in the transient period or uh, not due to some other external reasons it is due to the normal operation of the uh, it is happened or it is created due to the normal operation of the devices we are connected to the power system so this is uh, take place in steady state so it can distinguished by harmonic spectrum of uh, affected voltage Uh, on other hand component of frequency related to the voltage notching are somewhat uh, high and may not may not be promptly categorized with a measurement devices that we are commonly employed for harmonic analysis that is the, we cannot uh, categorize the frequency component by the measurement of device that we are using for uh, uh, harmonic analysis uh then what are the causes of notching you can see one waveform here example uh, in this waveform uh, you can see this is a, a voltage waveform uh, which is having uh, a notching uh, with this uh, as a comp- additional to the normal pure waveform so this kind of waveform is due to the uh, voltage notching uh, what are the co- causes of notching what are the causes of notching actually voltage notching is primarily uh, caused by uh, as i told some of the normal operating devices like a three phase rectifiers or a converters that generate continuous dc current this is one of the uh, reason as mentioned the voltage notches happen uh, when the current commutes from one phase to another so subsequently a momentary short circuit between two phases will occur during this uh, period that is the one of the reason for uh, voltage notching and uh, moreover the depth of notch at any point in the system is influenced by the source inductance uh, the isolating inductance between the rectifier or converter as well as the point of being examined consequently the width of notch is uh, it is uh, something that is equal to the commutation angle so commutation angle you might hear in your power electronics so width of notch how much period notching will happen uh, that is uh, usually uh, you can approximate is equal to the commutation angle and uh, what are the effects of notching voltage uh, notches are uh, uh, introduce uh, voltage notches will uh, introduce harmonic and uh, non harmonic frequencies Uh, that are much higher than those of found in our higher voltage system okay usually uh, these frequencies are in the radio frequency range 
that can negative operational effects such as uh, due to the its uh, uh, frequencies in the range of radio frequency uh, it will negatively affect the um, sig uh, signal interference introduced into the logic and communication circuit where uh, radio frequency is the matter also when uh, when of sufficient power the voltage notching Uh, effect may overload the electromagnetic interference filters and other similar high frequency sensitive capacitive circuit so that are the main mm, effects of uh, voltage no notches so understand that uh, voltage notch is a uh, is, is duration is classified uh, is uh, or it is occur in steady state condition main sources are uh, electronic devices such as converters or rectifiers uh, its symptoms is a malfunctioning of the equipment and its occurrence is not much uh, uh, frequent it it it, it occurs very uh, rarely in the system and and how to mitigate mitigation is uh, uh, of voltage notching is better to uh, better to remove or isolate uh, such kind of uh, load connected to the system uh, the, these are the uh, things uh, points associated with uh, notching so let us discuss uh, another type of uh, power quality issue that uh, distorted the uh, waveform so waveform this we, we were discussing about uh, Uh, five thing that affects the uh, purity of the waveform that is uh, that is the reason for waveform distortion first we discussed the dc offset then harmonics and last we discussed about notching now it is electrical noise or electric noise so electric noise is actually is unwanted electrical signal present in the power system Uh, having broadband spectral content lower than 200 kilohertz superimposed with the power system voltage or current uh, you can see one waveform uh, with the electrical noise is associated with you can uh, you might study the electric uh, noise with the uh, associated with the signal these are uh, uh, these are something that is unwanted in your electrical signal but it is present uh, without uh, any any intention so uh, they may be observed in phase conductors or neutral conductors or signal lines and the magnitude of the noise is normally very small as compared with the power signal however the electrical noise creates problems in operation of uh, electronic devices such as microcomputers and the programmable controllers M mostly this will affect the electronic loads connected to the power system so electric noise is mitigated by using filters line conditioners and a dedicated lines or transformers electrical noise can be eliminated using mostly using the filters then you can use line conditioners like uh, some active type or passive type conditioners then uh, a dedicated line or transformer for a particular purpose and these are the causes of electrical noise you can see that almost all the power quality uh, related issues are make make by these in these uh, loads uh, and this all all these things will uh, introduce the electrical noise first one is a faulty connection in the transformer or distribution systems arc furnaces electrical furnaces power electronic devices control circuits welding equipment loads with the solid state rectifiers improper grounding turning off of capacitor bank adjustable speed drive corona effects interference with the communication circuit all these things will uh, create or generate electrical noise uh, uh, with our actual uh, waveform so this you can see a figure with a waveform um, voltage waveform with the electrical noise and the uh, so that is what is about the voltage 
or waveform distortion uh, now uh, the last kind of uh, voltage uh, power quality issue that is voltage flicker so voltage uh, flicker you might uh, uh, heard about about the voltage flicker uh, uh, this is actually you can uh, see in a power line flicker is a visible change in the brightness of lamp due to the rapid fluctuation in voltage of the power supply so whenever a fluctuation in the power supply occurs that can be you can you can uh, you can see in the in your uh, brightness of the lamp will be uh, changing so that is what is uh, the main effect of voltage flicker is on the lighting loads so power line flicker is a visible change in the brightness of lamp due to rapid fluctuation in the voltage of power uh, voltages of power supply so uh, continuous and rapid variation in the load current magnitude which causes the voltage variation voltage variations are due to the uh, continuous and rapid variation in the load current that makes the voltage variation and whenever the voltage varies that will affects on the lighting load in this in the in, in a way uh, the uh, there will be a brightness changes so that change of brightness rapid change of brightness of lighting load is normally termed as a flicker flicker so it is a type of voltage fluctuation hence it is a type of a voltage fluctuation uh the main causes of uh, voltage there are so many reasons for voltage variation and uh, one of the main reason is operation of arc furnace uh, voltage fluctuation in utility transmission and distribution system will uh, due to the operation of such kind of uh, arc furnace you can see one waveform here here you can see the uh, this profile of, you can take the voltage envelope Your voltage envelope Uh, it should be the maximum uh, maximum value of all the cycle should be the same but uh, you can see uh, this is varying okay the voltage will fluctuating the en by while drawing by drawing voltage envelope you can see the variation in the voltage or the fluctuation in the voltage so here also you can see that uh, Uh, and uh, the due to the variation in the peak value of the voltage in the positive and negative side the envelope also is varying so by drawing the envelope you can uh, measure how much flicker effect is there on uh, in your voltage waveform uh, this a uh, waveform is shown here that is the voltage flicker due to uh, arc furnace and uh, Uh, this uh, there are many reason for uh, voltage flicker uh, uh, you can measure uh, this kind of flicker or there are flicker uh, measurement of flicker uh, methods are available uh, some of the standards of uh, measurement equipments are given by Ele international electrotechnical Uh, standards iec that is iec 61000 like uh, measurement of flicker uh, that kind of meter is known as flicker meter you might hear about the flicker meter uh, by using that you can uh, measure the flicker and voltage fluctuations are described by ieee as a systematic variations of the voltage waveform envelope as a systematic variation of voltage envelope or a series of uh, random voltage changes the magnitude of which falls between the voltage limit set by ansi standard so generally that standard is uh, the variation of voltage or variation range from 0.1 percentage to 7 percentage of nominal voltage with a frequency less than 25 hertz so uh, 0.1 percentage to 7 percentage variation from the nominal voltage that should be a systematic voltage variation or uh, variation 
that will be treated as a voltage flicker so subsequently the most important effect of this power quality problem is uh, i have already mentioned is a variation in the light output of various lighting sources commonly it is termed as flicker so voltage flicker is uh, uh, mostly uh, influenced in the lighting to the lighting load and that we can uh, uh, affects such as uh, Uh, visible change in the brightness of lamp due to the very vari rapid variation of the voltages so that is the uh, voltage flicker and in other word voltage fluctuation is a response of the power system to fast changing load as i told that if there is a fast change in the load that will result in the load current so that will change the rapid uh, that will cause the rapid variation of uh, load current and hence there will be voltage fluctuations so a flicker is nothing but it is a it it actually a, a response of uh, rapid variations in the load also so the light flicker is the responsible for lighting system to such load variations as observed by the human eye so whenever a load variation in your feeder large variation in the load will occur that will be uh, you can you can visible uh, or you can see that variation of the load in your lighting load as a flicker and you can you can see the figure uh, waveform here uh, source voltage and uh, uh, a volt a voltage waveform Uh, which is uh, with the uh, uh, large voltage fluctuations known as voltage flicker and these are the main causes of voltage flicker uh, equipment or devices that exhibit continuous rapid load current variations mainly in the reactive component can cause voltage fluctuation and light flicker so a, a load or a device or equipment Uh, that exhibit continuous and uh, rapid load current variations that will definitely create a voltage fluctuation and hence the voltage flicker and normally such kind of load have rate of change of power with respect to the short short circuit capacity at the point of common coupling which is which is the value is very high so uh, a very high rate of change of power with respect to the short circuit capacity at the pcc uh, such kind of a load examples are uh, electric arc furnaces static frequency converters cyclo converters rolling mill drives large motors etc so whenever this kind of load is there in your feeder it will definitely cause a large variation in the load current and hence it will affects on the voltage fluctuation uh, or will cause the voltage fluctuation that will be reflects as uh, voltage flicker in your lighting system so that is a uh, voltage flicker you can measure this voltage flicker using flicker meter so these are the various we discussed uh, we have discussed uh, through our various uh, 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 video lectures uh, uh, the different kinds of uh, power quality issues uh, various types of power quality issues we discussed uh, in these lectures so you can you can go through all this uh, one by one we uh, already explained like voltage sag uh, voltage swell uh, transients short duration voltage variation long duration voltage variation voltage impedance waveform distortion voltage flicker and in all the terminology there are sub heading also harmonics you can see sub harmonics or uh, inter harmonics uh, transients are different types of transients are there so you can uh, go through all this video lectures uh, from lecture 1 to uh, this lecture uh, in order to get the idea about the topic uh, uh, that deals with uh, different power quality uh, issues in the power system